I am Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrock in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link on this uh, Wednesday afternoon about 4 o'clock. It's been generally a, a cloudy and cool day. Had a few showers this morning. At this hour, we're seeing still a lot of clouds, but also some peaks of sun in some areas. Temperatures today topping out in the uh, lower 50s in most locations, including 51 in Providence. I'm not anticipating any uh, precipitation this evening, though. We do have some rain, perhaps heavy at times, on the way for uh, tomorrow, uh, mainly a Thursday afternoon. We'll show you that in just a second. In the meantime, let's take a look at the, what we're watching. Well, for tonight, really no weather issues. It looks to be uh, cool and dry. Uh, some rain on Thursday. We're talking about some downpours, perhaps even a few strong thunderstorms. This is mostly during the afternoon. I think a better part of Thursday morning is dry. And then once we get towards um, late afternoon, early evening on Thursday, it does dry out to the point where we'll get a little bit of sunshine. So the window that we're looking at is from roughly noon till about uh, th well, 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, some heavy rain and some thunder. Uh, Easter weekend. Still looks pretty good, both Saturday and Sunday. Satellite and radar composite. Let me widen out the view, and you can see that um, you know, we still got uh, a cloud cover overhead right now. Let's see. Hmm. Wait for this to load. There we go. But you know, we have some breaks in the overcast as well. So some areas at this hour, we're taping this as of 4 o'clock, getting some partial sunshine, and really not much in the way of precipitation. Now, the system that we're tracking for... Thursday afternoon across the upper Midwest, Chicago, Minneapolis, and the Great Lakes. And that's going to track off uh, to the east on Thursday afternoon. So let's take a look at it hour by hour. The first, the, the wider view. And you see that moisture approaching. And watch how things really light up in orange and red. This is around 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So this represents some very windy conditions, some heavy downpours, and some, some thunder. You know, some thunderstorms could be borderline strong. You know, maybe, maybe. I mean, I realize it's a low chance, but, you know, slight chance of a, maybe a damaging wind gust. So that's with the approach of the cold front. And, again, this is from roughly 1, if I really had to narrow it down, roughly noon till about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And then watch how rapidly that pulls offshore. In fact, um, I do expect a little sunshine before it sets uh, a Thursday evening. So let's get in even closer. A kind of a hyper local look here and here we go starting off this evening you know partly cloudy cool uh, essentially dry or right, here we are seven eight o'clock in the morning uh, mostly cloudy start uh, breezy temps are in the mid uh, 40s and then here we go noontime some scattered showers but it's that like roughly 1 to 3 p.m. time frame as the cold front approaches I mean you look at all this red here and these are downpours, obviously. You look at the intensity scale. Some thunder, some strong wind. And, um, yeah, so that will certainly impact travel for a few hours. And then by 4 o'clock in the afternoon, the thrust of it is actually pulling away. And then we start to see some breaks of sun late afternoon and into the early evening. And that could briefly boost the temperature up close to 60 so uh, between roughly 4 and 7 o'clock in the evening, we start to see some clearing. In fact, here we are at 7 o'clock. Now the sun sets at 20 past 7, so it's conceivable that we do actually finish the day with some sunshine before it sets. And the wind picking up and the temperature dropping off. So even though we briefly hit or get close to 60 around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, by 7, 8 o'clock in the evening, the temperature is really dropping off, the wind picking up, and it does dry out. So for this evening, uh, looking at um, well, partly cloudy, cool conditions, uh, temps uh, in the middle 40s, and then for, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so for Thursday morning, uh, mostly cloudy, windy, uh, temperatures rising through the 50s. By late morning, we'll get a few scattered showers, but the, the downpours and the thunder coming in between roughly um, noon and 3 o'clock in the afternoon, very windy. Temperature will briefly spike close to 60 as we get towards the end of the day. Showers ending with some increasing sunshine. And we do have a, a very sharp um, wind shift. So boaters, be mindful of you know gale force wind gusts. Also be mindful of some thunder, some lightning. So early in the afternoon at south, southwest, 
and then a rapid turn west once the cold front comes through uh, in the late afternoon. Uh, 15 to 25, but you know some of the gusts in any strong thunderstorms could be over 40 miles per hour. So uh, boaters, again, certainly be mindful of that. So, you know, kind of a very changeable Thursday coming up. I uh, really no weather issues for this evening overnight through most of tomorrow morning. Strong cold front, rain, wind, thunder on early Thursday afternoon, clearing out Thursday evening. Friday's not bad. There may be a spot shower in the afternoon. And still going with a decent um, Easter weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Both days should feature sunshine and uh, seasonably mild temperatures. That's your latest weather now update. Of course, check back with us. Of course, our newscast starts in about an hour at the 5 o'clock. There will be some more weather information. Of course, important latest updates on the coronavirus as well. All right, thanks for logging in. Stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll talk to you soon.